Well, it all started a few months prior to September 2008. We got involved with a franchise that unfortunately became a franchise, and it affected not only me personally, but my family, and we had to file bankruptcy. It was a very difficult time for me as a man, knowing that I had to provide and want to provide for my household, but couldn't. But then it dawned on me, even during the crash, all I could think about was home security and personal protection products. And I decided to look into the home security business, but unfortunately, it was completely saturated. But we did look into the personal protection products, and more specifically, tactical flashlights and lasers for your handguns, shotguns, and rifles. And I knew I had something really great in my hands, especially with this all-encompass knife that utilizes ring feature, a curve-shaped talon blade. I noticed that when I was going to the Houston Gun and Knife trade shows on a monthly basis, because this is where I reside, there was a guy behind me who had this unique talon blade shaped design knife. I couldn't figure out what it was that he was deploying from his pocket continually all day long. And he was doing this for a couple of months until I started building up enough curiosity to go meet up with the guy and talk to him. You can actually put the clip on either side and also has a notch feature which helps you deploy this knife in a split second. You can actually keep your eye on them and boom, you're ready for action. Split second decision. That's why I decided to look into the knife industry with this kind of passion. The main reason why Mandiola de Defense is important to me, just as an individual, is I really wanted to develop more products that were gonna help people utilize things that were less lethal than just a knife. But I also wanted to take it even a step further and design another type of defense product that utilized the ring feature, which is our current flashlight, which is a strobe force flashlight. And we want to continue on that route utilizing ring featured type of design products that people can grab easily from their pan pocket and something that they can utilize to defend their personal space. That has been my driven passion and why I do what I do and why Mandiola Defense exists. Well, we made some major improvements on the flashlight. Number one was the 18650 battery. We utilized initially on the 1000 two CR123 batteries, which actually only gave you about 40 to 45 minutes burn time. With the new 18650, you'll have anywhere over an hour and 20 minutes to almost two hours worth of time in your burn time. And the great thing is we reduced the lumen value to 750. More research actually showed for me that between 300 and 500 lumens is really all you need to disorient anybody that's coming after you with a strobe featured type of flashlight. And the other thing is we actually made the bezel a lot more aggressive. So for impact purposes, when someone's coming at you to assail you, you'll be able to use this and it's gonna create more of that impact pain that you're looking for to actually subdue the assailant so you can run the other direction a lot more painful. I'm telling you guys, I'm pressing up against my hand. This is pain and I feel it and it hurts. And one thing I wanna talk about is actually the clip. We wanted to design it where it was actually close, as close as we could get to the pressure switch base itself. So we have it more at 8 p.m. and 4 p.m. And the reason why is because when you're putting the flashlight in your pocket, it'll actually hug closer to the inside of your pant. Having this thing out a little bit more would have poked out the flashlight and that's not what we were looking for. We wanted to keep it as concealed as possible, especially for people that were wearing regular blue jeans, shorts, whatever. You can keep it inside your pant and it's still gonna look flush. The great thing is utilizing the feature on the ring so when you deploy it, it's ready for use. And as you can see, my fingers are wrapped around it so when you put it on, the strobe goes right on. And we also have it where it now shuts off within a second of you pressing on it because you not only have strobe, but you also have high, low, back to strobe, and then if you hold it for less than a second, it shuts right off. So guys, there are your improvements, and we're really looking forward to getting this thing developed. Simply put, guys, I'm really looking for this to be a community effort where people that have a serious interest in this who are looking for a defense product are gonna be able to find it, and now you have it. You have that ability. And especially for something less lethal, something that you can actually carry with you 
at almost all places, your place of business. You can go to a restaurant with it. You can go to a concert with this flashlight. You don't have to worry about something being confiscated or not being able to be brought with you at a place where you need it the most because people aren't gonna think anything of it except it's just a flashlight. That's what I love about this product and that's the reason why we want you to be involved. Once we get enough funding in, guys, we're gonna immediately produce these flashlights. You guys can clearly see there's nothing like this flashlight on the market. Get in on the action and get your DTAC 750X Strobe Force flashlight, guys, for yourself. Thanks again.